Hey there creators, are you looking to give your videos a professional touch with a clear voiceover? Whether you are narrating an African folktale, adding commentary to your vlog, or simply giving your tutorials more impact, voiceover are the way to go. Today, I will show you exactly how to add a voiceover in CapCut and make your video sound more professional. It's super simple and best of all, it's free. Before we dive into the step-by-step -step process, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the best editing tips and tricks. So let's get started. Before we jump into the technical steps, let's quickly talk about why voiceovers are so powerful. A good voiceover can enhance your storytelling. So whether you are narrating a story or guiding your audience through a tutorial, a voiceover adds a personal and engaging element to your videos. It also clarifies your message. If you're doing product reviews, reactions or tutorials, your voiceover will help explain what's happening on the screen. It also creates a professional vibe. It elevates your content and makes it more polished, especially if you're running a YouTube channel for business, education or entertainment. Now, let's dive into how you can add a voiceover to your videos in CapCut. To add a voiceover on CapCut, you need to ensure that you've opened the app and your footage or videos are already in the application. So to add a voiceover, what you need to do is click on audio, then after audio you scroll till you see record, click on record, then select the blue icon and that is where you can make your recording as effortlessly and as easy. So once you've recorded your video and you've gotten what you want, make sure that your recording is according to your video footage. As anyone, when you want to create uh, vlogs or whatever you are trying to voice over, once you are done, click on the button and mark it and that's how to voice over your video. Once you've created your voiceover, the next thing you need to do is click on the video, then go to volume because you wouldn't want your voiceover to be too low or too loud. So on the volume, you can make adjustments, either increase it or to reduce it. Then, once well, I then create that highest over, if you feel that it's noisy, you scroll down till you see reduced noise. Click on reduce noise, then you so see that the creators, I am your voiceover is flawless and noiseless. So that is how to voiceover videos on cap cuts. Now that you know how to add a voiceover, here are a few pro tips to make sure your voiceover sounds as professional as possible. The first tip is to record in a quiet environment. Eliminate background noise by recording in a quiet room or even in a closet for better sound isolation. The second tip is to use a decent microphone. You don't need expensive microphone but even a low budget microphone can improve the quality of your voiceovers compared to your false built in microphone. The third tip is speak clearly and with emotion. Your voice is part of the story so make sure to speak clearly and with energy. Don't rush. Place your words to match the video content. The first tip is adjust the audio setting. After recording, always check your audio levels. Use CapCut's volume control to balance your voiceover with any background music or sound effects. Do you want to make your voiceover even more dynamic? CapCut allows you to easily add background music or sound effects to complement your narration. All you have to do is simply go back to the audio tab and select sound and choose the music or effects you want to add. Make sure to lower the music volume so your voiceover remains clear and easy to understand. And that's how you can add a voiceover in CapCut to take your videos to the next level. It's easy and it's an effective way to make your content more engaging and professional. Whether you're narrating a story, explaining a tutorial or giving your audience extra insight, a voiceover will keep them hooked. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome editing tips. And always, always make sure you leave a comment. I will know exactly what to create in my next video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.